Welcome to another 3D comparison video. So let's see what are the correlations between the image quality and the output of the model. So as we can see on CSM.ai, they have this any image to, to 3D option where we can input some images and we are going to obtain 3D models. And I want to investigate what is the correlation between the file size and the resolution of the image and the quality of the final model. As we can see over here within their website, they have this rate of progress. And as we can see, the quality has increased. For example, for this Mario model, or so I will stop it over here. We see the input image and the output also for the back of the model is quite detailed. So for the case study, I'm going to use a statue that I also used in another video. So the model is available on Sketchfab. I will put the link within the description. It was created by 3D HD scan. And it is a statue from the main building of, of a castle. So this is a Gothic castle. As we can see also the, the location for that castle. So I already downloaded the model. The materials were unlinked, but within this video, I want to prepare a scene in Keyshot where we're going to see what are the output of those models regarding the obtained renders. So within an empty Keyshot scene, I will drag and drop that statue. So I already assigned the, the material for this. And as you can see, since this was a photogrammetry model, this is not perfectly aligned to the ground. So I will still rotate it one degree on this axis, afterwards snap it to ground. As you can see, it's still floating. So I'm just gonna roughly drag that within the ground floor. Now I will define a new plane. So edit at geometry plane. This newly defined plane will be scaled even more. Afterwards, I'm going to define a material. So for that plane, I want plain white. I'm going to search over here for white. And we're going to see we have this paint texture white and paint matte white. I'm going to make use of soft rough white for this case. As you can see, we have some shadows over here. I will go to the environment and only set it for colors. I will make the environment a little bit larger. And I will go to image preset I will put the aspect ratio to be 16 by 9. And all the renders will be within the same location. So this will be the framing of the statue. I will go to render. I will swap some of the options over here. But so for example, maybe I will set this to, to use 10 cores. I want anti-aliasing to be up to three and the shadows up to three as well. So this will be the, the first one. If I'm gonna go to the output, I will make it so the full HD resolution. And I will add this to a queue. Afterwards I will go for a 4K resolution and I will add this as well to the queue. And now I will remove the shadows from the scene. So no ground shadows. This is with no shadows at all. I will maintain the same perspective. So this will be the 4K and this one will be the full HD. So we have those over here. Even within the first one, there are not uh, very visible shadows. So we can slightly 
adjust that. I will highlight that as well. I will go to the environment. I will swap another environment over here. As you can see, we have one shadow forming over there, but I will try to keep the same orientation of the model. As we can see, those shadows will be slightly visible over there. I will go for the startup balance 4K in this case and see how those shadows will look within the final composition. And you can see that we have one slight shadow over there. So we want to have ground shadows enabled. And I will recreate the full HD. So we see a slight shadow over here that was lacking within the initial two renders. And I will also go for the 4K resolution, which is this one. And I will again add that. And now I will start processing this queue. Afterwards, I will upload the files. Maybe the first two, I will remove those. So to speed up this, I will only keep this at 4K, full HD resolution, and also the ones with small shadows. So I'll process this queue. Now Keyshot will slowly render those. So I will skip ahead over here. And we will go towards the upload section while, when this will be finished. One hour later. Okay, so the last render is slowly finishing. As we can see, the CPU overheated a little bit since I added more cores for the rendering process. 99%. Okay. Now I will move those files over here within the render file, render folder. So let's take a look. The first one will be the 4K no shadows. 4K no shadows. Full HD no shadows. The following one is the full HD. and the last one will be the 4k with shadows okay now to upload the files on their platform as you can see they are currently trying to scale up their processing capacity over here if I will log over here this case study with the Pantone chair that I want to create a video was uploaded two days ago so it's 8 August today and we see that it's still under processing. Now I will add those images. So I will copy the first one which will be full HD shadows. Image to 3D, upload image. I will upload that. This will also maybe, maybe take a while but I also want to document this step show you that uh, the current uploading process takes quite a while since they are not scaled up with the system but they are working on it okay so we have that model I will not use the experimental model as we can see over here it's quite weird and off we see that one dog is flying in the air so generate that mesh. Now I will go for the 4K no shadows. So this is should be training. If I will go back to the main, I see that it says training failed. Okay, this is the first time I 
I see that. Let me see if I can reaccess that. I also close key shot so the CPU will calm down. We see that as soon as key shot is closed, the temperature will go down. I will try to refresh this and see why exactly did that training failed. Meanwhile, I will upload the 4K no shadows. And let's take a look if this will process. We see the model has been uploaded. Let's see if we can generate that 3D mesh. For this one, it's a little bit better. As we can see over here, the two dogs are both on the on the platform. This perspective, since it's pretty close to, to this one, is quite well defined. Again, we see that the training has failed. So I will stop this video over here and I will edit it once I manage to, to get this training up and running. Much, much, much later. Okay, so I tried to upload those files multiple times, but I still get this training failed message. So I think that one of the problem is regarding the file size. So I will go with full HD no shadows and I will have this rescaled. So for that, I will make use of Irfan view, press Ctrl R to do a resample. And let's go for something less like 70% of the original resolution will be this. Let's just go to 1080 by 608 pixels. So I will just have this saved. I will put them within the same folder, so over here. I will call this smaller res. And uh, I will try to upload this one. So add images, upload. As we can see, we see that the object has been uploaded. Even over here within the preview, we can see that loss of detail within those two images. But I will try to define a mesh for this one. So create mesh. Now if I will go back, again, this is training failed. So not sure if the model is too complex or the problem is that I already have so many models within training. And maybe this can also be a reason why the training failed. But I will keep you up to date regarding this, this project the next day so this is another follow-up video after i tried to upload that resize image and still received this training failed error i decided to go directly on sketchfab and do some print screens with a statue and see if those will work i also tried to change the perspective as we can see over here various perspectives some close-up in order to better see the details of those statues but for all of those even though they were quite low resolution since they were print screens so something <clears throat> similar to this as we can see the, the overall resolution on x and y quite quite small so this is one of those print screens I saw that OBS didn't saw that screen capture, so I decided to open it separately. As we can see, the pixel number for this image, also the total file size, there is a high loss in quality. So over here, the texture is no longer that, that well defined. But again, even with those, I received this training failed error. 
then I decided, okay, why was I able to recreate this bronze Chinese statue, but this hunter with those two hounds, the software is not able to process. And I decided to upload the same image that I use over here. As we can see, these are those two images and I still have them um, on my desktop. So this is one of those image and the other one should be somewhere around here. So I try to re-upload those, but even for the, the photos that the platform was able to recreate those models, I receive again this training failed. Also keep note that the aspect ratio over here is quite buggy. For example, if I will re-upload the same image, so in this case will be, let's take a look. This one, we're gonna see that the file will currently upload. And we see <coughs> that that aspect ratio over here. So if I will select the photo, the correct aspect ratio is over here. So we have some white to the left and right. So generate mesh. We see over here. So make sure that the image on the left looks correct. Well, this perspective looks correct, but the other are not really that well defined. And again, we have that training failed. So I'm not sure exactly what is the reason why I see so many training failed. Maybe since their servers are overwhelmed and I uploaded quite a lot of photos and they decided to, to put my account on a timeout. Maybe that is the reason. But keep in mind, if you want to test this platform with various photos, Keep in mind that you may receive these training failed errors. Okay, so I hope you like this content. If so, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.